welcome to Legend of the Stoned Out. We like to call it Lotso. And my name is Chris. I'm Justin. And I'm Alan. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to a very Halloween edition of Lotso. Are you guys freaked out right now? Are you scared? Yeah. Yeah. We have a huge episode, so uh, depending on when you're watching this, you're either preparing for Halloween or Halloween just occurred, uh, likely, statistically. And so, either grab your bowl of Halloween candy or grab what you got left. Sit down and prepare yourself because this episode is full of a ton of S. We're going to be talking about Minecraft. Insane amount of Minecraft. Am I right? Yeah, played a good, a fair amount, a fair amount. Uh, I think we did the calculation and we did a safe guesstimate of, uh, between the two of you collectively, 125 hours played. That's that's probably pretty safe. So, you played the game some, so we thought maybe we'd talk about it a little bit. Now, we know Minecraft's not everybody's cup of, sea, cup of tea, I was going to say. Not cup of sea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not everyone's cup of sea, either. You know, speaking of cup of sea, I was watching this documentary on Netflix about these Russian... Uh, submarine guys, <laughs> and as part of like a uh, ritual, they would drink seawater when they got on board. It was like a sacrifice. What? Gross, right? Anyways, so what I was saying <laughs> is, uh, we're also gonna have a ton of uh, new Vegas discussion because these two dudes d- quickly dropped their Minecraft habit for uh, Fallout New Vegas because it just shipped. And um, of course, oh hell yeah, we went to the midnight release. Good job, guys. Well, maybe we'll talk about that, too. All right, all right, all right. With all that said, let's get in a Lotso grab bag. All right, welcome to Lotso grab bag segment now the first thing we'll talk about is minecraft let's just get this one out of the way because i don't i I get the sense i don't know i might be wrong in fact i'd like to hear what people say in the comments but i get the sense that minecraft isn't really everyone's interest i don't know i didn't think it'd be mine yeah okay let's let's start there uh we're gonna talk about fallout new vegas here in a second but let's let's start there what was your initial early impressions well like for me uh you guys showed me it at the Jupiter at night that I was on. But had you seen it before then? No, I just heard about it. Uh, like, I, didn't, I saw like a couple screenshots and it's like, okay, I don't get it. There's got to be something more to this game because yeah. everyone's pooping yeah. their pants over it. I was, that's how I felt too. And then as soon as I saw it being played and what you can do, it's like, oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And I bought it right away and I went that's home I and bought it. told Justin. Yeah, when I saw I it, it, I bought it. I gave I, you plus monies. That's true. You overpaid for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a charge. I gotta take my cut. <laughs> what were you saying, dude? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I don't know. Well, you were. What were you saying when you first heard about it? Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Um, when I heard about it, it sounded horrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounded terrible. And then when I saw it, it looked even worse. But then once Alan showed me what I could do, once you were yeah. And now, and now, does any of the other stuff matter? What do you mean? Well, like the uh, graphics. Yeah, do the graphics matter now that you've seen it, and now that you know, because that was that was initially a turnoff for you. It sounds like. No, I just it's great. I just like making all the. So, but all the early stuff that turned you off now doesn't bother you. No, I like it now. It doesn't need to be fancy, obviously. Hmm. He liked it so much that he made this awesome <laughs> Mega Man in front of our huge... Ba- Dude, that's the other thing. Can we like talk about community. that for a second? Like, there's a huge ass community. Like, there's this big old map. I gotta blow up a spot. Justin came in, beautified we, it, and made this huge Mega Man. I hu- made this huge wall. It's just crazy what you can do. Minecraft is just, it's, you know, I don't, I know, prob- I don't feel like we need to really explain what it is, but I, it's, you know, it's a building game. And you guys have built an amazing, like, Lotso Palace. I don't With know the help of uh, Samfty, or I think it's Nevin from the, the colony. Yeah, we've had, we've had a call with Jupiter, Jupiter colonies over where our form is, and. Uh, there's also been a Minecraft server set up, and the information's over there. But, uh, yeah, you guys have been playing with these dudes, and yeah, he it's just, amazing. He started following us around, and uh, he just, out of nowhere, just started building the wall around it for us. Like, I helped a little and started at the very beginning, but he, I like the d- lots he did of probably built at the side. least three-fourths. Yeah, that took a while. That took, like, two hours? I don't know. Wow. 
And you built it on top of a TNT crater, which was pretty cool. Yeah, because at first, Jeremy just like, I'm like, hey, I want to blow something up. And so we spent about a half hour setting up all these TNT things, made a huge crater, and that became the Lotso area. So do you guys now... You guys probably mostly played pretty uh, pretty much around the same time, or a, gr- a lot of the part around the same time, right? So, did you guys sort of work in tandem, or did one person do one thing and somebody would do the other part? Because, like you were mentioned earlier, like when you're building something really tall, you got to know like how it's lining up, how you got to get over. You know, I mean, was it were you able to like devise a building system? No, we pretty much uh, on our super awesome secret room. We both worked on it together, but. Uh, the uh, otherwise you'd have like solo projects that kind of just came together. Yeah, it's, Alan had the big huge crater, and he always goes down to his little hell area where he's just <laughs> he's like way in the bottom of the earth. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you just tunneled way down as deep as I could go. It's gigantic, and I stay up above that and I build little fancy rooms. And I clean up what he's done a little bit around the outside. <laughs> I just go in with TNT boxes and blow the hell out of everything and keep going. And, I, you know, I make the floor nice. I make it pretty even. And you go down in my area and there's a bunch of lava and waterfalls and stuff. It's I like some of the water routing yeah, and stuff. Uh, we, we found an ocean. Not found an ocean. We went to the ocean. <laughs> and then I started. I was like, oh, dude, let's try to get this thing to go into our... Uh, our area. So you channeled the ocean. Well, I I, I cleared out about twenty bricks. <laughs> oh, was that close? No, no, no. I said screw this. This is boring. And then I took off. And Alan and I play this in the same room more than we play it in other rooms. He just comes over and brings his computer upstairs, and we both play in the same area. Then seriously, about two hours go by, and then Alan says, "I'm about to get the water <laughs> into the castle." <laughs> and it's like, "Oh shit!" So <laughs> I gave up two hours ago, and he kept on going with it. <laughs> No. I had nothing else to do, and it sounded like a good idea, and I liked that. So have... you did tunnel all the way from the ocean? Oh, hell yeah. That's quite a way. Yeah, I tunneled from the ocean. Now, people don't know. Into... Maybe we, ha- we might have some visuals of it, but it looked, I mean, that's quite a distance. It takes a long time. Like he said, it took like two hours to do it. I wonder how you got the water in yeah, there. Yeah, a two by two path, right? Yeah. And so no, it it's bigger than that. It's interesting how you have to live by so many world laws. It is weird because the water keeps on dropping. It doesn't go straight. It's almost like the constraints uh, yeah, it puts on you. Know, down, so I was kind of scared. We couldn't get it in the top of our spot like we wanted to, but we got it kind of inside before you go all the way down. Hmm. So it's it's cool. What what do you think future games will take from this as an inspiration? Like, do you? Th- I was trying to think of like, could you imagine Fallout with some sort of inspired elements from Minecraft, like some sort of building mechanics that are. Like you have to collect certain components in Fallout and then combine them now I think in order to get like a to gun. Do unless you make a make a chintzy game, you know, you're gonna have to dumb that. You're gonna have to dumb Fallout's graphics a lot to get that to work, because you know you got the, like skate park editors in Skate Two. You know, all the pieces have to fit each other. But since everything is just a square on this game, it makes everything so much easier. Oh, sure, sure. You know, it, it's with my Mega Man that I made. I just I looked for eight bit Mega Man, and then it all made sense because he's just made of blocks, so it was easy to do. I didn't have to put too much thought into it. I just had to look at it and recreate it. It's still pretty good. Yeah, I sketched it out first. Nice, oh, dude. I mean, you guys really the stuff people have built is is the the it's it's really impressive. Um, any other things you guys want to touch on in Minecraft before we go on to New Vegas? No. Nah. Not mm-hmm. really. There Impressed. Was, yeah, yeah. It was, Are it, you gonna it keep was playing? a lot of fun. Are you going to pick it back up? Well, I mean, that's the thing. Is like right now, it was, what, 15 bucks about? 14, 15 bucks? Mm-hmm. And it's forever, supposedly. So anytime, yeah, anytime there's a lull in gameplay, I can hop back into that world and just go crazy. Well, you know, as we're recording this episode, the, the uh, Minecraft servers have been under a denial of service attack all day. Rumored by 4chan, but then pretty much disproven not by 4chan. And, uh, you know, their main complaint is they're, they're trying to make a statement, they said. They're trying to make a statement that the guy doesn't release updates fast enough to the community. Because now that he's made his millions, he's just holding off. And and have you seen there's going to be, like, this Halloween edition of it? Yeah, but it comes out the 30th. Yeah, yeah I'd I like know. a little time to decorate before Halloween. Yeah. Not just 24 hours. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people are upset about that. A lot of people think he already has the work done. They're mad that he hasn't released it already. Um... Uh, you know, in a big way, though, I kind of feel like he doesn't owe them anything. It's his product. It's his 
his vision. And like Jeremy was saying, it's an alpha. It's not even beta. Yeah, you bought it's into alpha. it at a he's, discounted rate. He's just like, hey, you know, this is a continuing project, but if you wanna, if you wanna do it now, and these people are already getting pissed off, there's. This is another reason I love consoles. It's because this shit never happens. Well, because it's such a controlled, yeah, locked down corporate environment. Yeah, nobody can break in. It's great. But, nobody ruins my gaming. But it's me. likely this game never would have even well, and it doesn't exist in the marketplace because the corporate infrastructure required he could never have gotten in well, that's fine you know there's but then this wouldn't exist well not on xbox but so, so it necessitates it it has to be on the pc is what i'm saying but then once this guy makes it big enough i'm sure microsoft will want to deal do a deal but he couldn't launch there and that's why i think it's important that it is on the pc for now but i understand what you mean like it almost is because people are on the pc they're also a little more aggressive about it like they almost expect a little they feel like they ownership. feel entitled, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't get why. And I mean, the thing is about talking about the Xbox, you can totally make it for it. Justin is playing it with the Xbox. Controller. I think it would be an awesome Xbox game. Yeah, I was thinking that would be like the first Xbox MMO. Interesting. That would be great. I was thinking about how much I'd love to have it on there. I could see that because I got that thing mapped to my Xbox controller perfectly. Dude, if people, you ought to tell people how you did that in the Jupiter Colony or something. You ought to make a post in the Lotso Forum. If they're interested, I'll definitely tell them. Okay. Yeah, ask in this thread if you want to know over at jupitercolony.com, and uh, maybe you can hook you up. Um, I've gotten, you know, I honestly have spent more time admiring ev- what everyone has built and enjoying it, like going in their houses. Yeah. People have built light switches that control lights. People, there's uh, Rikai in the chat room built a tower that is in in. Closed in glass and has water flowing over it. Oh yeah, it's pure. People it's like built, a water tower, and you can ride your boat up it. People built a QR code um, building, and you scan it, and it takes it to, it takes you to their website. It's just incredible. It's just it's amazing when people are people are so creative. I just find it fascinating. Um, but all right, let's talk about New Vegas because I think those people really want to hear, right? I don't know. <laughs> Minecraft's pretty important right now, but. I don't know. You know, we you know we did a Jupiter at Night on Minecraft, and it did it did great on our site, but it didn't do so great on on YouTube. So I was thinking, maybe people are just kind of getting burnt out on Minecraft a little bit. On YouTube, they just want to see the funny videos of people burning down their houses. Well, but Jupiter at Night is not really. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. I I you know what? I just figured that I sometimes look at that as an indicator. Now the YouTube views are just a you know tiny bit of what our total views are but it's i think an interesting leading indicator so i just thought maybe people didn't it's care more anymore. you know i don't know how it works but youtube's popular as shit and some of the other sites you post on are more for the kind of underground community right well i think like our like the community on our main website and stuff that probably visits more regularly is is more interested in the, in, in the longer term discussion stuff but i don't know i mean i still look at it as an indicator regardless i guess is all i'm saying and so I just kind of get the impression people are kind of done with it. I mean, I think our chat room is really into it because you know we've been playing with them in a lot of, in a large way. Yeah, and that's fun. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about a little New Vegas. So uh, you went to that wh- what? Where Best Buy or what? Midnight. GameStop, always GameStop. Oh, okay, local GameStop. Or as what? local as it gets. All right, so now, <laughs> oh, right, right. So crowd or just nobody there? Well, that's probably about 40, 50 people. Well, there. really? Yeah. Well, it's not bad. But they pump them out pretty fast. It's nice. They, they <laughs> watch out! My mic just took a dive. It's been doing that. It'll probably do it again. I gotta get a thing and tighten it. They let you go in beforehand and scan and whatever, so it's really quick That's once cool. it starts going. But the fun thing that we did is we went way early and just threw a football around in the parking lot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. It was a lot of fun. No, there was a lot of people there. I didn't expect that many, but that's what I thought. So it, did, it was a lot of people. A lot more than I expected, but I mean. I seen some pretty big ones for uh, Call of Duty last year was pretty big. Oh, sure. oh yeah. Yeah, it's called Daddy though. It's called Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so you got it home. Give me your first impressions. I I played it right away. I popped it in, and went for it, and I don't know. It seems like more the same, which is just awesome and fine by me. Like uh. Just seems more of Fallout 3, which is perfect for me. Yeah, they didn't change hardly anything as far as the character movements or the actual engine at all. 
It's just straight up Fallout 3, but in Vegas or Nevada more. Wait a minute. This is a good thing? Yeah, it is. It's it's the same thing like uh like from Grand Theft Auto. So Street should it Vice be City. more like twenty five dollars? No. No. I mean it seems like you guys are getting yeah. screwed and happy about it to me. <laughs> no, because it's I haven't played now. That said, I've bought it. It's in my it's in my office right now, sitting unopened. I just got it tonight. It's uh, it's not about the graphics in this game though. It never. Well, I'm not talking about the graphics. I mean, it just seems. Well, so far it's been you know. Yeah, the graphics is my main complaint with it, but it's not even a complaint because. Has the story been interesting? The story is way more interesting than the first one. Then Fallout 3? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Alan and I had a conversation about that. <laughs> Since we're not awesome Fallout 1 and 2 people, we call Fallout 3 the first one. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of the first one you got on board, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about it beforehand. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. Like, th- right now it seems a little glitchy, and to me it seems almost a little glitchier than Fallout 3. Uh, people in the chat room have been complaining about it being buggy. Yeah, it is. But, would you know, Rikai in our chat room is saying that he agrees with you. What's that? About how we're getting jacked for 65 bucks and we're fanboys. I'm and just not. No, I don't mean no, to say it like no, that. Rikai it's, does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's new content, right? It is new content. It, he, You know, it's got better story. Is it's it? It's got weapon modifications, which are awesome. Okay, let me ask you this. Is it more content than could be included in a downloadable content? Yeah. Yes. Times fifty. Oh yeah. It's Fallout's huge. And the the map is is way bigger. They can't do another one like this though. They have to do something big now. You mean the next Fallout? Well, I mean they can't just do one more of the same. That's true. They well, it's not true. I don't know. No, I think they're kind of now. I I think if they just upgraded the engine and kept kept like all the basic gameplay elements you know it's too the boring same thing. dude you keep it like, like this one they they added you know looking down the iron sights which isn't that big of a deal but compared to the last one it's awesome it makes it makes running around gunning sure. that much more fun and easy it's to do it's the same thing as a football or basketball game but they're not releasing it every year you know they make the minor adjustments to make it better and i'm sure the graphics will come eventually but dude you cannot be trying to give me that argument right now why not because you hate that I do. I hate it, but at the same time, you know, there's if I like basketball as much as I like football, then I would buy every NBA game or hockey game for that reason because they make good hockey games. I cannot NBA believe you're games. making this argument. <laughs> it's a good argument. But you're, ju- you're making a justification for bad content. I'm not saying bad content. I'm saying lame graphics. Well, all right. But is, if you've got to churn out yearly, you're going to have the content just can't. Of the scope. Well, this is a two yearly thing, and basketball okay. gives itself all right. content. So you're saying, all right. So, boy, it's still okay. pretty tight, though. I want to jump in here, though. All right. You really liked Bioshock 2. No, not not a lot. Yeah, but you were into it, and when we were talking about it, you were all about okay, it. Okay, all right, I liked it. And that is so much more of a repeat of the same I game. I agree. Like Fallout 3, it, it is the same, and okay. there's a lot of similar things, but. There's right. so much things that are different okay. about it that right. make it. I don't know. But I'm, you you agree you th- if they do another Bioshock and another Bioshock and Rapture would be dead. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be great. And but that's the thing. If they did if they did this Fallout in the wasteland and you know in the DC area again, I would have been pissed off. But they're doing it in Vegas, so it's 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 different. And they didn't you know. Yeah. They did add a bunch of things. It is new. It is new environment. Okay. Then all the different enemies, all the different. People, all right, now all I'm getting on more quests, board. The, when I, when the I think of it as like different a book. factions that can like and dislike you, and then that affects what other quests you get and the side missions. Yeah. And That's cool. who are attacking you and who are leaving you alone, who will help you out. When I think of it as like a book, and this is like another chapter in a book, then it's okay that it's kind of the same thing. It's just a different, it's a continuation of that story. It's an extension, it's part two of a movie, et cetera. Right, it's the sequel. Mm-hmm. To no, it's not a sequel to. Well, it doesn't Fallout have 3. like you know, it's not the same character or nothing. But it's the same world. Yeah. 
So it's like a book maybe that takes place in the same timeline or same universe yeah. from a different character's perspective right. or yes. something like that. That's what I mean. Like, okay, I'm yeah. more okay but when I think of it like that. I still kind of think $60 is a lot. Okay, Here, here's another thing. You know, it might... It's the gameplay that gets me the most because I'm being accused of being biased on Fallout, but it's just I haven't ever played that kind of game before. I didn't play any of the RPGs a lot before Fallout. I wasn't hardcore into them, and I'm still not. But just the way they, cause I played, a, I played Oblivion, uh, the Elder Scrolls, Oblivion. Okay. I beat it to death, and I wanted to puke after I was done with that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because it's just got so tedious after a while. Oh. And there's something about, there's just something about Fallout that blinds the shit out of me. I'll admit it. It does. I just can't stop. It's my. You're you're meticulous in it. Yeah, I love it. I I like finding stuff. I like I played the third one twice, and I never play a game twice. That's a big game to play twice. Yeah, yeah, that's over 100 hours in each playthrough I did with all the downloadable content and everything. I mean, And you was, foresee yourself doing that this time through? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a game that you feel like you miss so much. You, you're you going to hate it. <laughs> if, you, if you feel like you're always missing something with, you know, Bioshock or something. Yeah, I do. When it comes to Fallout, you're, you're going to throw the TV through your TV or the controller, dude. You're not going to like it because there's just so many options. And, you know, somebody says, get rid of these guys. And then you go to those guys and talk to them and they say, well, we'll leave if this happens. It keeps on going back and forth like that. You can go in there, kill everybody, and they're gone. And then you go talk to the guy and he's happy that they're gone. Or you can go help them do what they're trying to do and then they'll leave or, you know, there'll be some sort of peace, you know. There's all these different answers for all these different quests out there, and it's just, it's too much to take in sometimes. It's so, do you intentionally answer one way, one pass through, and then intentionally answer the other way? Like, do you keep track of it, or do you have, like, a system for that? Um, there is no system. I was thinking about getting a pen and paper, and I played through the first a half hour. And there were already like four things that I wanted to go back and make sure I did, but I'm gonna forget. Wow, what about you? Uh, I don't know. It's it sounds like more game than I can handle. I gotta be honest with you. That's that's the thing. Like we were talking about it, we've both probably put in about I don't know ten hours. About let's say that, and um, we've done a lot of the same missions. And we were talking about like things that I missed and. You know, things that we did differently and just all that, just within the small amount of options. And it's just like, oh, yeah, I didn't even know that was even a possibility. Like, mm. that didn't even appear for my... So it's, it's cool. It just it changes. I like this, you know, about the Fallout thing, too, is the last story was good, but it was a little drab and serious. Yeah. And this one, it's all, you know, crazy Vegas stuff. <laughs> Everybody's right. Like new futuristic Vegas. Yeah, and it's... Now, you're not in Vegas yet. No, it, it's just Nevada and California, it seems like. And New Vegas is I can't believe you played a game for 10 hours and you're not in Vegas. Dude, Jeremy's already in Vegas and he's played three or four hours less than us. Yeah, just how you play. But, but he, wow. I mean, yeah, I could have, you know, we could have just headed straight, burned through the story as quick as we could and ignored the side quest for the time. No. no. Oh. It's impossible to do with the VATS. I don't know what a VAT is. The VATS is when you pause the screen. Or you know you press. Oh, it does like that cool like Matrix style bullet yeah, time gun effect. And so if I pulled the vats, his screen would stop, and if he pulled the vats, my screen would stop. It just wouldn't make sense. It'd just be a shooter otherwise. That's too bad. It is too bad, but I'd rather than not worry about it than being like Fable and tacking on this rubber band bullshit they did last time. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you don't want the tack. You want it to be part of it. Like you know, like and Gears. with your character. Like, have you guys played Gears? The new Gears out? No, no, it's not out yet. It's coming no. out soon. That's right. I remember right now. Now, uh, all right. So, what do you think your total? Like, what's your end goal? Are you gonna be able to make it through? Do you, is your personal goal to make it through, Alan? It is, especially since I honestly didn't make it through Fallout Three. Like, I started it over three or four times. I don't know, and just never, never got around to it. What about you? Of course, you're going to finish it. Right? Yeah, I'm going for a thousand achievements on this one too. A thousand points. I don't care about any other game's achievements, but it's so easy and it's not easy, but it's more doable in a single player game. Now, are you likely? Do you spread it out the, this new this new approach, or or do you just kind of 
go like a machine on it. I don't know, dude. I'm crazy with that shit. I'll I'll watch a football game, then all of a sudden I'll start playing Madden, or I'll go upstairs and play Minecraft. I I still play a little bit of Minecraft. There's some times where it just something else sounds better, and I go to that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, all right. So, any other thoughts on uh, New Vegas? I big. It sounds like a buy. I mean, I I bought already, even though I'm kind of crapping on the the prize. Yeah, but at the same time, if you didn't play the third one, it ain't gonna matter to you, right? Oh, I thought it didn't matter because it wasn't connected. What? I th- yeah. I thought it wasn't like a sequel. I thought it didn't matter. Oh yeah, I'm just saying since you didn't play the third one, this content's going to be new for you, so oh. it warrants the 65 bucks. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's that's exactly what I felt. That's exactly what I thought. That was my total thought process. Like, well, I, if I'm going to buy it. I was well because you've talked about it so much. I thought, well, okay, maybe I'll buy it. All right, I'm going to buy this game. And then I was like, well, now if the new one's coming out, I might as well just buy that because it sounded like the perfect. So I just assumed. I hope that assumption's correct. Up until Fallout Three, I. There has never been a game like that, and it just it it got me really bad, and I'm still with it. And I'm sure if the third one rolls around exactly like the Vegas, I'm sure I'll start getting a little pissy. But mm-hmm. like this one, they just started adding more things into the already good stuff. I wonder robots. how long till we see some downloadable content. Oh, uh, shit! Usually it's you know. It's, Five or six months. It's already been announced. Oh, it has? No date, but they say it's definitely happening. Mm. Well, here you go. And you're going to get it? Of course. Oh, yeah. 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 Except for last one. I mean, we got kind of burned by uh, uh, Operation Anchorage and Mothership Zeta. Uh, yeah. It was kind of. Hmm. Not as good as we expected, especially the Mothership Zeta. Like the. The Anchorage one, I didn't have any expectations, but it was long and boring and stupid. And, and the second time or third time through, I really didn't want to do it. But the prize at the end was great. And the Mothership Zeta was just... You're no. just stuck in the in the hallway. Yeah, it was a corridor game, dude. So what kind of... Are there any kind of multiplayer options in this at all? None. None. Harsh. I kind of like it. If they did co-op, cool. But like Justin said, there's no real way to really do it and i don't really want multiplayer sometimes it's nice to have a game to play by yourself uh, you know i think the reason why i don't console gameplay as much is because i don't have a console in a spot that i spend a lot of time which is either here in the, i guess that, I, that's why i don't play pc I, games too I, much. <laughs> I have one in the studio and i have the one here in the studio and, and i'm either here in the studio doing a show or i'm in my office Oh, I'm in bed. When you're in a console too, you know that's when you kind of kick back and relax. You don't want to be hunched over a, you know, a 20 inch monitor. So it's nice to have a nice, you know, 50 inch TV you can look at. While that's kind of why I want to get an Xbox S in the living room, but I just can't really afford it. But I really like to get one out there because they have good media playback too. Yeah. And a little quieter. But I don't know. You know, I have the PlayStation 3 now, and that's just been doing everything I need. I, <laughs> I want the PlayStation 3 to. F- finally get going i just feel like nothing's happened and like i said before as soon as they start coming out with as good games as xbox i might yeah. jump ship oh well, they got the new netflix app now which is pretty nice yeah, yeah that's i don't watch any netflix on my xbox oh it's good dude. now all three consoles have it yeah yeah that's who cares about the weeds it can't do hd yeah i know <laughs> but it can do netflix without a disc well, your cable box is worth more than a wii I just, I don't mean to hate, but I just cannot get it up for the Wii in any way. I cannot. Neither can I. They didn't, aren't all the uh, original game controllers wired? What? You know, the, for playing, what do they call it? Oh, the, the classic controller? Yeah. No. Is it wired? No way, really? I remember something about that. I, I I I shouldn't hate on the Wii, but every time I've I've almost gone to buy one, I've I've played it at a friend's, played it for a while, and I just walked away thinking I don't ever really want to do that again. I would never pick that up and do that game again. Now, see, I I like going over and you know when Justin and Ashley got a new They're game. They're wired you know, to the Wii mode. Like they'd be it'd be fun. It'd be fun to play around and stuff. But at the same time. Nothing ever was like, yeah, I I need a Wii for this game or Metroid, Mario. But you know, 
give them a year and they'll just be emulators or maybe there already are. Hey, if there's emulators out there, people in the watching this, you're breathing into the mic. Let me know. What? <laughs> you're breathing into the mic. Well, I breathe, dude. <laughs> I know, but you're breathing right in. <laughs> hey, they appreciate it when I say it. All right, guys. Pretty great, pretty epic games that just came out. I mean, way big. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I got DJ Hero, but I haven't really played it. DJ Hero 2. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it came out. I like that game. <laughs> I'm just. But I know nothing about the new version. I'm blown away, but I'm blown away by the scope of both the games that are out this, you know, in this recent batch. Fable comes out next week. You gonna pick it up? No. Mm-mm. Would you pick it up if you weren't doing New Vegas? Uh, maybe. So now you wouldn't. No. You know? Assassin's Creed's coming out in another month or so. And that one I'm getting. Now, um, what's the buzz so far? Assassin's Creed's looking pretty good. All right. I, 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 shoot. So I really got to get on Fallout. Oh, yeah. Sounds like if it's that big, I really got to jump. I'm going to go home and play tonight, probably. Well, of course. Right? Isn't that like all you do these days other than beat it? Ha <laughs> ha, just <laughs> kidding. Pretty much. All right, everyone. Well, I think that wraps up this episode a lot, so right? Yeah. Everything we got? All right, gentlemen. Well, thanks for tuning in tonight's episode of Lotso, and uh, we come out every other Friday now. We decided to move it from Thursday to Friday, make it Lotso Friday. Well, every other Lotso Friday. Every other Friday, so Lotso Friday. That's how it works. Totally. Fortnightly. I won't figure it out, but you can go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar. You can see when it's then. Or you can, and you know what? When you're all there, you'll see when we're doing it live, like right now, on Friday the 22nd. So we're wishing you a happy Halloween from the future. Actually, it's kind of like their first celebration of Halloween because it's early. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Hopefully everybody has a cool Halloween. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching tonight's episode of Lotso, and we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs>